Have you ever wondered the difference between an inverted and a non-inverted strut? Well, we're going to break that down for you today on the Apex Files. So this is a Bilstein monotube inverted front strut for a Subaru BRZ or a Toyota 86. And this is the factory strut. Um, so look at the size of this shaft versus that shaft. Uh, well, uh, that's not actually the, da the damper shaft. This is an inverted strut, so the shaft is inside where we can't see it. Um, let's take it apart and have a look inside. All right, so this right here is what the inside looks like. Uh, remember before we couldn't see the bump stop uh, when we had it inside because it's, it's on the inside. Um, this is the shaft of the Bilstein right here. You can see it's actually a little bit thinner than the OEM shock. Um, and this is the really the, the damper body. Uh, this is where all the guts are on the Bilstein. And this is where they are on the uh, factory shock. So what's the advantage of an inverted strut? So Subarus and Porsches and BMWs and a couple other car companies uh, use a strut in the front of their suspension um, as opposed to the rear where they'll use a regular shock and then like a multi-link suspension. Um, and part of that is with a strut, it's actually a structural component to the suspension. So it sees a whole lot more side loads. And uh, if you're running really high grip tires and seeing a lot of like G-forces uh, or you're rallying and landing jumps sideways, you need a strut that can take some of those forces. Um, and uh, so with an inverted shock, inverted strut, um, having the body of the damper itself be this structural component, it's a lot stronger than that thin shaft we showed you before. Um, and so this can handle quite a bit more of those side loads than a thinner shaft like this would. Um, so putting that inside helps keep things from falling apart. Uh, now, that's part of why this shaft has to be thicker. Since it's not inverted, you're seeing some higher loads uh, that the shaft here has to um, resist. Um, and that means that an inverted strut actually doesn't usually have a very thick shaft. And that's okay, because using a really thick monotube damper shaft has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, you need a bigger piston um, and everything just kind of takes up more space inside the damper body. Uh, so avoiding that problem is helpful. Uh, there's also, when you use an inverted strut, um, it puts kind of the heavy stuff towards the top. Uh, so there's a little bit of a reduction in unsprung weight as opposed to having all the guts and stuff uh, down at the hub. Um, downsides are, uh, they're usually a bit more expensive. Um, overall weight might be up a little bit. Um, and in most cases, there's a little bit more friction. Um, and then they can require a little bit more maintenance uh, and re-greasing and that type of thing. This thing is covered in grease on the inside here. Um, one other advantage, though, is that having this inverted shock, inverted strut here, um, protects the shaft from flying debris and stuff since the shaft is down inside the body. So that's good for rally. This factory shock is a twin tube. Uh, you don't really see inverted twin tubes too often. Um, and they're a little bit more robust in general um, and can run a, a bigger shaft without as much of the disadvantages of monotube. If you're using monotube struts, uh, including coilovers, inverted dampers aren't a must have, but they're nice to have if you're running really sticky tires um, or definitely worth considering if you're doing rally or, or drift. Um, thanks for watching. I didn't really have a closer for this. So I'm gonna just say shaft again. <laughs>